Okay, we've got the air conditioner turned back on. We've got all the breakers on. And see all these pipes that are wiped? These are actually copper pipes, and they've gotten so cold, they've turned white. And that's how this thing works. This is all under pressure, and nothing's dripping so far. I look down here, and the whole side of this is wet. Okay, this is like a just insulation on the side up here, and that was wet when I took this. Remember when I took this panel, this panel cover off? I'm looking at that, and um, this down here is moist, but it's just in that corner. And then remember when I took this filter out, I flipped it around the other way. This is the only moist spot, and that's where it seemed to drip off of there. And that was right down here at this corner. Well, so far, I've had the air conditioner on for about 10 minutes, and I haven't seen one single drip. And as for a pan, you see this here? Remember I was saying this is the condensate drain where all this, this is under pressure. It's really super cold, and it's going to drip. It's going to weep, almost like a glass of water. When you have ice in it, you put it on the table, and it weeps on the table. Well, that's what is happening here to a, to a bigger extent. And this is the condensate drain line. All the water kind of drips off of here. There's aluminum filters or, or fins in here. See how they're silvery? Well, well, that's all supposed to be metal like this. And then when it, it gets cold, it goes like that. And then the water kind of drains and it goes down in here. And there's a pan in here. See this thing here? This is actually the pan. It's kind of inverted. And there's a red cap here. There's also a red cap down here. And you can clean this and see, you look on there, it says caution, avoid damage to plastic pan. Do not use strong alkaline cleaners, pH 9.5 or greater. Clean the coil with mild detergent and water. Rinse coil and pan, and pan thoroughly with clear water. And I think you would take this cap out now, if you don't see a cap like that, you could take this out, blow air through there, and all that kind of stuff. But see, this is the this is the pan. This is just a heavy plastic, and it runs down this direction, and then it goes across at the bottom, and then it comes up at an angle. And you can see that. Let's see if we can show you that. I don't know if I can get my hand down in there. Oh, here we go. See this this here? This is the plastic pan right here how it kind of comes out at an angle because it catches the water. The water drips down here, runs into this pan. And if I shine my light up in there, I don't know if you can see that or not, there's a little bit of sludge in there that that is going to collect after a while. You're going to pour mold in there and stuff like that, and then there's sludge. That could come down through here, and it could get caught in your drain, let's say. If it gets caught in there, or let's say, uh, you get a mouse up there and they build a nest or a mud dauber or anything or uh, some lint and it, and it fills this up. Chances are this pan could fill up with water because it's not coming out the condensate drain and it could come up over this lip. You know, the water gets up that high and it could be dripping. It might be as simple as cleaning out your pan. Okay, but in this case, it's not over there. This is all dry and I'm looking over here and the plywood on the edge of the plywood that's been cut out, you see how it's kind of discolored? That's because it's been wet. And somehow the water somewhere has seeped up here and it's run on this insulation. The insulation probably got wet down here and the insulation works like a sponge. It gets wet down there and it just travels uphill. And it's come, come to here and you can see where it stopped. So we're trying to minimize it, to see exactly where the water's coming from so it doesn't even look like it's coming from the pan at all okay so I'm gonna I'm gonna keep camping out here and see right in here this is the moisture the condensate that's been built up and you see um, how it's wet in there I was hoping maybe uh, like here here's some threads on a nut maybe the nut was loose let's say and it was dripping up this way and coming out but all that water that was collected in the pan from before, that my catch basin down here. See, I've got a little bit of water in here, but I haven't seen it really, I didn't really see it drip per se. 